and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again. Check, 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 mic one, two, one, two. It's your boy ready to bring you news. The Buffalo Bills have signed new guard from the Tennessee Titans, former guard of the Tennessee Titans, Quentin Spain. Anybody named Quentin, you just call him Q. So we're gonna call my man Q. Q, welcome to the Bills. Six foot four, 330 pound mauler. But don't call him a mauler. He's not just a mauler. The boy can pass block. That's his specialty. That's what he does best. And what did we need in Buffalo to protect Josh Allen? A little bit of protection. And I think this is exactly what Mr. Q Spain brings to Buffalo. Now, let's bring it back a little bit. What is he bring into Buffalo. What exactly did Buffalo see in Quentin Spain that they signed him to a one-year deal? And only a one-year deal. Does that worry you? Does that make you think Bean is sitting here going, all right, we're going to see what you're made of. We're not sure just yet. We know your track history. You've done well. You've started 48 games in your career. Let's see what you got with new coach, new scheme, new brothers, new everything. Is Q Spain setting himself up for a major deal? I mean, shit. Take a look at uh, John Miller. They got paid. <laughs> you, you feel me? They got paid. So it goes to tell me that if John Miller, and not that they're slouches, but if John Miller can get paid Q, Q Spain, he's waiting on his turn. And that could be next year. So he better bring it and he better come with it. Now, what does he bring to the team? How is he going to mesh with the lineman that we physically have right now. Let's talk about the grading. Back in 2016, run grade of 84.6. That's solid. That's above average. That is good run blocking guard. You can't go wrong with that. Now here's the deal. My guy slipped a little bit in the run game. Went down. I'm talking when I say go, I'm going that. Listen, <laughs> he went down, down to a 57.3. Now that is a bit of a, a, a head scratcher because you go from being ex extreme talent at the guard position to now, you know what I mean, looking like an average guard. So what does that tell me? That tells me scheme change. That tells me potential coaching changes. So something happened, right? But here's another thing. His pass blocking increased and has maintained at an elite level. He's sitting at a 78 to 77 points in pass blocking according to PFF. So how is that going to translate to Buffalo? We know who we have in our backfield. We know we have who we have as quarterback. We got Frank Gore that loves to run between the tackles. We got LaShawn McCoy that's looking to have a, a huge bounce back year. And let me remind you who the running back was for the Tennessee Titans last year. Oh, yeah, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was running like a wild man last year. So I'm glad to take a piece from that run game and bring it to Buffalo. So am I worried about that 57 grade? No. Do I think back and look at that grade that he had back in 2016? Yes. Does he have something to prove this year alone to get that money, get that shmoney for the following year? Yes. So all signs point to having a fantastic year. Am I being too positive? Maybe. Am I being optimistic? Yeah, damn right I am. I see a big time overloading of the O-line. Let, let's look at the O-line that we had last year. All right, you know who we had. Mills, Miller, Dukas, Dawkins, Groy, Bodine, Teller at the end of the year, Searles, McDermott. We had a whole bunch of guys just rotating in and out of the lineup. There's no continuity in that. There's none of that. How is quarterback Josh Allen supposed to feel comfortable behind that shoddy old line? So Bean put his money where his mouth was. He put a lot of money into this old line. Now, are they all stars on this team? No. But a little chemistry together? A little bit of hard work, new O-line coach, and Bobby Johnson, that could be all of the difference. Now, this is what the O-line could look like going forward. Mitch Morse, center. Quinn Spain, right guard. Who do you put at left guard? 
move Mr. Dawkins inside. I've been saying this. This is not news, man. Y'all been hearing me say this before. Move Dawkins inside. He may not like to hear that. Because the, the, the game is to get paid as a left tackle. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? The game is changing. Look at the center. Center just got paid 44 mil. The guard position <laughs> is going to change. You don't think that that bully, Quentin Nelson in Indianapolis, isn't going to get money at the end of his rookie contract? Believe me, he is. The game's about to change. Dawkins doesn't know it. But his best bet to be successful first and get that money second is at guard position. Bring in Ty Niseki and lock his ass in at left tackle. Now that remains, one position remains open, and that's the right tackle. What do we do with that right tackle? Who do we fill in at right tackle? I'll tell you. I have that card, that rookie card that I'm going to play. I'm sure of it that we're going to be drafting a tackle in this draft. The interior lineman is set. We're good. We're all right. We need that right tackle. So we draft the right tackle. That's one lineup that you can put together. The traditional lineup you can put together is Deion Dawkins at left side, Wyatt Teller at left guard, Mitch Moore center, Quentin Spain at right guard, and Ty Niseki at right tackle. That, that lineup right there is a potential starting lineup. So there's so many ways you can change this thing up. But I'll tell you right now, one thing's for sure, two things for certain, your right guard and your center is locked in. We just got to figure out the rest of the line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new year. You can clearly see the focus was on the O-line. We need to protect Josh Allen. We need five bodyguards that take no mess. In the words of new GM Mike Mayock for the Raiders, you want men, you want bullies, you want dudes that will take dudes and throw them out the club. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening, man. You got a quarterback right now that needs protection. Anybody trying to get to your quarterback, put your hands on them and throw them out the club. That's how we're going to do this year. Five bodyguards for your boy, Josh Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, are you satisfied with what we've done thus far? Are we done? Are you comfortable with the Bills the way they're doing things now? Bolster that old line through free agency. Get some depth in the draft. And go from there. It, it's all about chemistry. It's all about that old line coach getting these two guys together and getting your proper five together. I'm not interested in Russian roulette. I'm not interested in musical chairs at the old line position. Choose your five guys early and let them rock let them meld together let them be one that's the only way we're gonna have success if you guys like this video y'all know what to do click that like button if you guys are new to this page subscribe and until next time it's your boy and i'm gone